Hey, what's going on, everybody? Sam and the Kim here, and I'm back with another one. Today, we're talking about the Arlington Renegades versus the St. Louis Battlehawks. This game was a back and forth battle between two really great teams. Arlington, once again, was not able to come out with the dub. They've had a tough couple of weeks. St. Louis, on the other hand, who lost on a close field goal last week against the Michigan Panthers, came up with the dub this week on a game-winning field goal. So we are going to be going through the highlights of this game and looking at some of the plays they ran and looking at how this game played out. It was an amazing game, really back and forth. Saw really a lot of big plays. Marcel Aitman, I think, is establishing himself as the top receiver in the UFL. Um, Sal Canella, one of the top tight ends in the UFL as well, has been playing pretty well. There's a lot of talent on both of these teams. A lot of these teams, both of these teams have been playing well. Arlington, unfortunately, has not been able to come out with a dub so far in two weeks, but we are going to take a look at this. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will get straight into it. All right. Luis Perez went 21 for 29 with 233 passing yards and one touchdown. A QBR of 107.4 and 72.4 or like 70, 72% completion percentage. He played a pretty good game. AJ McCarron played a pretty good game as well. They were not too successful on the run. Their leading rusher had 23 yards. Um, their leading receiver had 83 yards, Peyton, Tyler Vaughn's had 58, and then D. Smith had 20 receiving yards, their running back. So, you know, they were pretty successful in the air, not as successful on the ground. The Battlehawks, on the other hand, A.J. McCarron was 19 for 29, 65% completion percentage, 248 passing yards, two touchdowns, and a QBR of 115. They had their running back Durant, who went for 100 rushing yards after being inactive last week. So, Kudos to him. Bounce back. You know, keep your head in the game. Stay positive and bounce back when you get your opportunity and make the most of it. Really good by him. And then obviously, like I mentioned, Marcel Aitman, 114 receiving yards on four receptions, two touchdowns. That man has been balling. If you saw how he played last week against Michigan, he did everything he absolutely could to try to keep his team in the game. Unfortunately, like I said, they lost this week. It was a different result. And we're going to take a look at it. Here we go. Arlington's got the ball on their third and seven. Luis Perez is going to throw it outside to Tyler Vaughn's on this stop route. Looks like St. Louis is running this cover three with a hook player on the inside. One of these safeties dropping down in what seems to be a robber, but just a cover three coverage. And they're going to get it to Tyler Vaughn's for the first down on the outside. Really good play right there. Here we go. Got a first and 10 for Arlington. What are we going to get? A little corner route to the top. Let's see what the route concept was. Looks like they're running a fade. And a corner route with a swing on the bottom. And they got one of their tight ends running a under and under right here. But really good concept. Luis Perez finds the open guy in between that zone. And they're able to connect on it. Looks like also they're running cover three still on the St. Louis Battlehawks side. But Luis Perez carves it up right there and finds the open man. Really good job on first and ten. Here we go. We get to look at the route. Getting open in that zone. Just sit there. Really good job. Great play. Great play. Here we go. Little reverse to Peyton. And he's going to make, you know, good yardage out of it. Get almost 20 yards out of this, this reverse. Really good play right here. Really good play. They're running that type of reverse where they act like they're going to bam the tight end across. But really, he reverses. And he ends up being the lead blocker along with that lineman. What lineman was that? Was that their, uh, is that a guard? No, that's a center. Center and tight end out in front, blocking for him. Really good play design right here and really good result. Great execution by the Renegades on second and eight. Here we go. Got a third and three for Arlington. And looks like he had the swing route to the running back, but, you know, um, uh, the Battle Hawks are bringing all out pressure. They're playing zero. It looks like they're playing zero. Four on the line. No, so they have one high safety, but they're still bringing pressure. Everybody else is manned up. Looks like he had the swing route. Like I said, this guy didn't peel off to cover the running back, or nobody really covered the running back. But Luis Perez, his first read wasn't he wasn't working the right. It looks like he's working the left side. And by the time he gets back to the right side, the pressure is on him. But he had an open guy. Unfortunate that he wasn't able to get to him. Good for the Battlehawks to get that stop right there. Arlington's gonna punt it away on fourth and 14. Here we go. Darius Shepard gets the catch at the five and the Battlehawks are going to start their first drive. They got a third and seven coming up right here. 
running this under. You see Marcel Aitman got the ball and he's getting upfield. Like I said, Marcel Aitman has probably been the top receiver in the UFL so far. He's been balling. Like I said, if you if you watched the Michigan game last week, he's been balling out of control. And if you watch this game this week, he just kept up what he's been doing. So hopefully he's able to maintain that. But um, yeah, he, he's, he's been playing out of his mind. Really good job right here. Look at this route. Let's check the route at the bottom. Looks like a slant. Or maybe a bang or maybe even a dig the way he broke it off but it's also man covered so he's got to break it flat to get that separation really good really good hands catching traffic though really good job right there for marcel Aitman. man coverage everywhere else i mean man coverage all around by everybody else they're bringing a little pressure but uh he's gonna get the catch really good job for marcel Aitman. really good job here we go we get another look at it oh, let me go back a little bit here we go little hold at the top still you know he's a bigger guy staying steady on that route and making the catch bring it into your body really good job really really good job there here we go look like we got to cover two man actually looks like we got a little two man safety's trying to disguise it but we see you um rushing four from the battle hawks and they're gonna get there with vic beasley the former all pro looks like they ran a not even a stunt I can't remember what Sam Acho called this. I think he called this a pick stunt. Here, let me go back. I think Sam Acho had called this a pick stunt. I'm not a big defensive guy, so I'm not. I don't know, you know, what all of these stunts and everything are called, but I think he called this a pick stunt. And Vic Beasley gets there, rushing from the inside as well. I know he's formerly been a, a defensive end, playing on the edge, rushing from the edge, but he gets there from the inside and gets the first sack of the game, really good, or the first sack for the Renegades of the game. Really good job there on third down. Here we go. The Battlehawks are going to take a 53-yard field goal attempt. And it was unsuccessful. It hit off the field. It hit off the upright. But don't give up on that guy right now. He's going to bounce back later on in the game. Really, really tough result right here. But it's going to be 0-0 to start the, the second, going into the second quarter. Got about 14 minutes left in the second quarter. Third and 10. Here we go. Looks like, uh, looks like. Battle Hawks are running a Tampa 2 here, and Luis Perez is going to get sacked. And I believe that's number seven, second sack of this game. I think he got that first sack in the first drive as well, but he's basically unblocked around the edge. Really good get off right here. He was, and you know, he's just rushing around that edge, not barely getting touched by that tackle. He's going to get the second sack. Really good job on third down. Really good job on third down. This game really actually started off like as a defensive stalemate. In the first quarter and the second quarter and then you know in the third and fourth quarter it just opened up like crazy it just opened up like crazy everybody was putting up points everybody was getting big receptions making big plays that's what people love to see that's good for ratings and kudos to the battle hawks for breaking the modern spring football record for attendance at like 40,000. really good job that's really good numbers love to see that here we go battle hawks back on offense 13 minutes left in the second quarter they're gonna fake the pitch out to the right and run a boot they're going to hit Hakeem Butler coming over on this over. So he's on the end. He's the end man on the line of scrimmage right here. He's going to sift through there and hit that under or I mean that over at about 10 yards and get the first down about 10 to 12 yards. And he's going to get the first down. Looks like they had like a post or dig behind him. And then you got Marcel Aitman running that out on the front side and Darius Shepard just running that little. I don't know what you call this, like a little sit or, you know. He's, he's really blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage so that he's he's trying to block that end man on the line of scrimmage for the defense so that A.J. McCarry can get out on the boot. And he finds Akeem Butler out in front. Really good job right there. Great job right there. Here we go. Second and five. Got man coverage from Arlington, but it doesn't matter because it's a run on the pitch. And Durant is going to find a way to make something happen. So I saw this, and I mean... I get it, AJ McCarron. You're trying to protect yourself, but like, if we're gonna try to block him, brother, we 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 gotta do a little better than this, bro. We gotta try to do a little better than this, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I appreciate the attempt, but like, damn man, this kind of looks bad, brother. Either way, really good run for the Battle Hawks on second and five. And uh they're gonna get inside Arlington territory, down inside the 40. Durant had a really good game. I mentioned this at the beginning of, at the beginning of the video, but he was inactive last week and he bounced back in a major way, rushing for 104 yards on 14 carries, 7.4 yards per carry. He had a really good run at the end of the game that we'll look at that kind of sealed the game for the Battlehawks. But a really good game for him. 7, 14 for 104 and a touchdown, averaging seven yards a carry. 
41 was his longest rush. Really good game from him. Here we go. Looks like Arlington is in a cover three type. Maybe even, I'm not sure what they're trying to run here, but it kind of looks like a cover three. You got one high safety. He looks like he's in a third. And then I'm not sure who's playing the third over here because like nobody's even covering up the outside receiver. But they're going to find Darius Shepard on the under. And he's going to get upfield for the first down on first and 10. Really good job. Really good job. Let's try to see what the concept is here. Not so sure. They got a fade on the outside and over from Hakeem Butler. It seems like fade and under the over. Maybe they're trying to run some cross, some crossers, some crosser type concept right here to where he's going over. He's coming under. He got manned up with one of the linebackers, so he's not able to go probably as high as he wanted to go. Darius Shepard came under. He's wide open, though, so really good job. That's one thing we know we're going to see out of the Battle Hawks. They got a ton of offense. That's why it was kind of surprising and really good job from Michigan to hold them to so less points last week because we do know they have A.J. McCarron, Darius Shepard, Marcel Aitman, um, who am I? Hakeem Butler. Like, they got a lot of talent on this uh, St. Louis Battle Hawks squad, so um, kudos to Michigan for last week, but... Um, they were putting up points in the second half of this game, like uh, we all expected to see from them. Got a cover three from Arlington. Marcel Aitman is going to run the under, and he's going to go untouched into the end zone. Really good job right there. Really good job right there. Really good job. Looks like they're running a little like play action type play. Um, they got the tight end down here on a ghost. Marcel Aitman coming on the over. And I'm not sure what Darius Shepard was running. He might have been running a crosser over here. They both might have been running post on the front side, but he turned it up to block in the end. Maybe he was running a corner. Maybe he was supposed to run a corner anyway, and that's why he ended up right there. But really good job right here from the Battle Hawks. Really good, really good play design. Marcel Aitman goes untouched in the end zone to make it 6-0, to zero, the Battle Hawks. Really good play there. Here we go. We get to get another look at it. Yeah, so I think Darius Shepard did have a corner here. He looked like he was about to try to run a corner. So they might have been running like a ghost by the tight end, a sail route by this receiver, a post back here by a, maybe a, no, not a post, a fade right here. So it's kind of like a flood concept, very similar to a flood concept with Darius Shepard running like the flood or the sail route. Got Marcel Aitman coming on the over and then the fade outside by Hakeem Butler with the ghost underneath from the tight end. Marcel Aitman's wide open and they're going to get in the end zone really good job here we go they're going for the two-point conversion and he's going to get darius shepherd now coming on this ghost flat and you got he's he's not open initially the linebacker's right there covering him but when aj mccarron looks like he's about to scramble the linebacker has to respect it really good job from aj mccarron to threaten him to make him feel like i'm about to run and then let darius shepherd slip behind to get behind him for the two-point conversion really good job 8-0 lead for St. Louis Battlehawks. Here we go with the kickoff return. About 10 and a half minutes left in the half. What are we going to get here from the Renegades? Decent return. Well, it's so funny because every return in the UFL looks good because they're kicking from the 20. So it's like, dang, these guys are getting back to the 40-45. And it's like, they probably are good returns. But uh, that's by design with the UFL. They want a lot of offense. They want to be able to, you know, influence these guys to put points up and, you know, I think that's the the what influenced the so far back kicking off from so far back. Here we go with the out route to um I believe that's Peyton for the Renegades. Good reception on the out. Really good throw from Luis Perez under pressure. The Renegades are running man coverage here and they're going to bring a blitzer through the A gap and he's going to go through untouched but Luis Perez gets the ball off knowing I don't know if he knew he was hot here. I got to believe he knew he was hot. The pre-snap picture kind of tells you that it's man coverage and they have somebody on the edge. They're really bringing they're rushing everybody and just manning up everybody else. So, not zero pressure because they have a one high safety but bringing pressure nonetheless and he gets Free and Luis Perez gets the ball off. Really good job there. Really good job there. On third and three. Here we go. Looks like they're in some type of zone. Sort of looks like a cover two. And they're going to find the receiver on the little Van Der Esch on the little um, box route coming underneath. There we go. Really good job there. Really good job for the reception on second and 12. First and 10 coming up. Here we go. Lindsey Scott Jr. is in the game, the former Incarnate Word star. He's going to do the read option and find a way to get in the end zone. Really good job. I really do like how um, the Renegades, Bob Stoops, has, and they have been using Lindsey Scott Jr. in 
conjunction with uh, Luis Perez. Luis Perez being the primary starting quarterback, but, you know, using Lindsey Scott a lot of times on a lot of, you know, read options like that. They do some reverses with him. They had a reverse touchdown pass in, or I think it was a two-point conversion, but I think they use him in a lot of unique ways. Here we go. Tyler Vaughn's getting the reverse throwback. So you're going to fake the fake the run to the running back he's gonna fake block let everybody think the reverse is coming back to the front side and he slips out behind for the two-point conversion really good job really good play design right there and great execution great execution from the renegades here we go you see it he's fake blocking oh wait 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 let's go back let's watch the fake block fake block fake block i'm not doing anything they get occupied he slips out really good job right there great play great play here we go the battlehawks got the ball back with about four minutes left in the second quarter and he's going to run it up the middle. Duran is going to run it up the middle and get about close to 20 yards on first down. Really good job. He was running. He was running the ball really well, really well yesterday. Really, really well. Great run right there. Great job there. Here we go. Second and five for the Battle Hawks. Two and a half minutes, close to two and a half minutes to go in the half. And they're going to hit Darius Shepard for almost a touchdown. Got to keep that elbow off the ground. But uh, he got close to a touchdown. Very close. Really good ball from A.J. McCarron on the seam. Really, really good job there. Seam with the under and a box coming on the outside. He hits the seam. And Darius Shepard's elbow just comes down before he gets in the end zone. We'll see a better picture of it right here. You see them replaying it. He almost got in the end zone, but that elbow came down right before he got in the end zone. Just got to keep your body. You just got to levitate, man, and keep your body off the ground. Get the get in the end zone. Here we go. They're going to get the toss to Durant, and he's going to walk in for the touchdown. Really good job there. Really, really good job. Blocking everybody down on the inside, leaving the end. You're reading the end. The end shows up on McCarron, and he's going to toss it out to Durant, who walks into the end zone. Really good job. Great play. Great play. Great play there. Love to see it. Really love to see it. Um, the Renegade or the Battle Hawks are going for the two point attempt. Two minutes left in the half, but you know, this isn't going to count for the time. Oh man, they're trying to hit this juke right on the inside, and he honestly had it. But good hands from the D tackle, man. And like, it doesn't even look like he really got a crazy hand up there, but he got his hand up. He got his hand up to get the ball batted down, and really good play right there from him because this was going to be. Easy, easy conversion. Easy conversion for the two-point. Really good route there from the receiver. Really good route there from the receiver. It looks like they're playing four over three over here, kind of high low and everything. And they're playing three over two down here, high low and everything as well. So, but that inside, he got inside leverage, but AJ McCarron's not able to get it to him. 14 to 8. Renegades are gonna get the ball back. Renegades got the ball now. Second and ten, a minute left in the half. And Luis Perez is going to try to find somebody, and he does. He finds his running back, number two. He's going to get about 15 yards right there on second and 10. Here we go. Got a second and 10, 44 seconds left in the half. Who is he looking for? Oh, man. Good concept. Good catch. Good catch. So they're running this little um, in concept, but it's really like you got this stop. And if it's man, you separate, which you're going to see him separate. I don't know if the linebacker follows him. The linebacker's watching the quarterback's eyes, but this guy's trying to separate to pull this linebacker out of there. And you want this in route to come in behind him in that window created by the void, created by this route underneath, by this pivot route underneath. That's the word I'm looking for. The pivot route underneath. You got the pivot. Um, you got this pivot route underneath with this number three receiver. He's trying to separate to get this linebacker out of there. And you got the in route coming in behind him. Really good ball from Luis Perez. I don't know if, I mean, he didn't throw it too far inside, trying to kind of protect that receiver from taking that hit, but really good catch from Peyton right there. Really good catch from the receiver. Great route concept as well. They're going to end up getting, trying to get three with five seconds left to go in the half, and their kicker is able to convert that to make it 14 to 11 at half. St. Louis has the lead. Really good game. Really good game in front of us. Here we go. The opening kickoff of the second half, I believe, is right here. It is. And... He's going to make something out of it. Really not great tackling here from the Battle Hawks. There's about four or five missed tackles on this one play. But uh, eventually Strib gets him down around the, I don't even know what yard line they were around. But uh, he eventually goes down. Now you got the Battle Hawks at the 25. 11 minutes left in the third quarter. Third and 10 for the Battle Hawks. And they're going to hit this fade right on the outside. Back shoulder. Good ball from AJ McCarron. Really good job. He got man on the front side, and the receiver's going to win on the back shoulder pass. Really good job there. 
Great play. Great ball from AJ McCarron. Here we go. Fourth and two for the Battle Hawks with nine minutes left in the third quarter. What are we going to get here? Run the out route to uh, to uh, Hakeem Butler, and he's going to make the catch. Really good job. Really good route here down at the bottom. Easy completion. Easy, easy, easy. Looks like it's mirrored on both sides. Got the out and the stick route probably on the inside. Stick here with the out, and, you know, they get the conversion. Great job on fourth down. Great job on fourth down. Here we go. Man coverage. And this was an amazing pass breakup. They didn't play the replay, but the Battle Hawks ended up uh, reviewing this for to see if it was holding. I remember watching the replay. I didn't think it it warranted a holding. I'm a receiver first, so you know I'm always gonna advocate for the offensive guy. I didn't really see enough for the holding, and they didn't call holding. They reviewed it, and the uh, the the officials upheld the, the the call on the field. Really good coverage from this DB right here in man coverage on fourth and six. And also, you know, the the pass breakup to me is amazing because because Darius Shepard caught this. The DB came in and knocked it out. Really good ball from AJ McCarron. Really good catch, almost catch from Darius Shepard, but great hands play from the defensive back. Great play, amazing play, amazing play. Here we go. First and 10 from the Renegades. What are they going to get? What are they going to get? Curl route to Tyler Vaughn's. He's going to try to put hit the brakes on right here. Ugh, loses his footing in that turf, but really good play nonetheless. You got the, let me see what the concept is. Got a mesh on the inside, curl on the outside over here. I think they might be running a curl on the top side too as well, or a dig on the top backside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mesh on the inside, dig backside. Got the horizontal stretch from the running back and a curl on the front side with Tyler Vons. Really decent concept here. And he's going to make the catch. Try to put the brakes on, but he gets a first down anyway. First and 10, Renegades. Here we go, second and 11 for the Renegades. And um, they're going to get what almost looked like a backwards pass, but it's just an incomplete pass. If you watch it again, they reviewed this as well. He's just, he's just throwing it forward. Lindsey Scott is just throwing it forward. It lands on the... He threw it from the 45 and it landed on the 46. So that is a forward pass. Close, but forward pass. Good wherewithal for the receiver to know that it might be close. So I'm going to pick it up anyway because I don't want to, you know, you never know. So just, just get on the ball anyways. I saw that in the San Antonio Memphis game where um, everybody was kind of playing around. They didn't know if it was live, but number two ended up picking it up before it hit the sidelines, and they went back and reviewed it. The ball was indeed out, so that ball was live. Do we have a clear recovery? We do. Number two clearly recovered it. So that's why these coaches are always stressing you. When the ball is on the ground, pick it up anyway because you never, you never know. You never know. Always pick it up because what can it hurt? You're just going to pick it up and then hand it to the ref. But if they saw you pick it up on the review, that is you guys' ball as long as you're in the um, fair play. That is you guys' ball. Here we go. Looks to be quarters on the back end of the coverage. And they're going to run this comeback to the top at about at about 15, 16, 15 yards. Maybe like 20 yards back to 15, 20 back to, or like 18 back to 15. I don't know. Good route concept. Good throw from Luis Perez. Really good completion. There we go. On third down. Was that third down? Yeah, on third and 11. Really good job. Really good job. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Now you got about 30 seconds left in the third quarter, and it's second and goal for the Renegades. And they're going to run this corner route to Sal Canella. Really good route. If I mean, on this review, I think the ball hit this DB's hands, but they're running the basic corner, two box routes on the outside with a corner from the number three receiver. Look at Sal Canella kind of set it up. He kind of stutters at the top, maybe hezzies to an inside break, but breaks outside, goes to the high corner, and great ball from Luis Perez. Really good catch from Sal Canella, too. Oh, my gosh. Just... Just, just barely slipped over that guy's hands. Here we go. We get the review. We get the uh, replay here. Just, I mean, it looks like it hits this defensive back's hands. He, I mean, man, what a catch. What a throw from Luis Perez. Great ball placement out there. Really good job. Really good job. Great play. I mean, amazing play. Yeah, Bob Stoops, it's great. Here we go. They're going for the one-point conversion. 17-14 with 28 seconds left in the quarter. And it's going to be incomplete. Looks like they're running some type of mesh on the inside got a flat route down here with one of these is this a tight end yeah got a flat route with one of their tight ends down here or their fullback down here running the corner up top and he's double covered he's not going to get the ball he's not going to make the reception tough play right there here we go first and 10 21 seconds left in the third quarter and aj mccarron's going to take a shot to who else 
Marcel Aitman for the 55 yard reception. Let's see the route here. He's gonna widen and slip. Kind of looks like he's faking, like he's about to run out. The DB bites on it and he slips inside and man, he gets the reception. In cover one, it looks like the uh, looks like the, the Renegades are in cover one. You can't see the high safety, but I believe they have one high safety up here. Looks like man coverage, they're bringing pressure, it is. Cover one, they're bringing pressure. AJ McCarron's got to get the ball off. Marcel Aitman wins now. You can't waste your time in the release. You got to just set it up real fast and get there. He does just that. Wins inside. And, man, great play for Marcel Aitman. 55-yard reception. Like I said, I'll keep saying it. This guy has been balling. This guy has been showing that he is most likely the top receiver in the UFL. I don't know. You can debate it. But uh, I don't know if you can debate it. I think he's been uh, the best receiver in the UFL to me so far really good job and then durant's gonna get in for the one point attempt and he's gonna convert it really good job right there running it inside running a little gap scheme on the inside a little counter pulling two, pulling the not even the pulling the tight end but got the tight end and then the guard pulling around in front of him as well really good execution here tight end gets that block nobody really has to touch anybody he goes in basically untouched making it 21 17 renegades 21 17 battle hawks here we go Run on the stop on the outside tyler von is going to get it get up field and get about 13 14 yards on first down really good job right there here we go little boot almost takes a sack but he's going to find peyton on the post route on the back side really good job i think he's down here not he might even be further outside we can't see him pre-snap but he gets up top, and he's honestly double covered. I'm surprised Luis Perez put it up there. He did put it up there, though, and his guy made him right. That's exactly what I said about the San Antonio Memphis game. Case Cook has put it up for um, Jonathan Adams, and Jonathan Adams made him right. That is going to develop trust. That's how you develop trust with your receivers. Um, I know Luis Perez is a really great leader of men, so um, I'm sure he has a great relationship with a lot of his receivers, and uh, that's just going to further that trust right there. And, you know, when you put it up, especially when it's a tight game and everybody's making plays, we need somebody to make a play, and you make it. Really good job right there. Little A-gap power, and they're going to get in the end zone really good job really good job from the renegades to answer that touchdown from the battle hawks real fast and get in the end zone great job great job here we go they're going for the one point attempt and they're gonna fake the reverse lindsey scott's gonna break a little tackle right here man really good job and then get the ball out find tyler vaughn's in the end zone for the two for the one point attempt really good play design here a lot of these running a lot of these reverses a lot of these gadget plays in this on these two point conversion but that might be the way with these one point two point three point conversions is like all these gadget plays like don't run one of your set plays don't run one of your you know where everybody's static pre-snap like mix it up a little bit get a lot of eye candy out there and you know use some of the pieces that you have Lindsey scott is a great weapon for you guys luis perez is a really good quarterback but Lindsey scott has a different skill set why not use that skill set and they did that just right here um for the for the one point attempt so Lindsey scott having a good game luis perez having a good game i mean everybody on both sides of the ball is having a, a good game for both teams but here you go I'm gonna watch him break this tackle get off me and find your guy in the end zone really good job really good job yeah yeah bob here we go fourth and two for the battle hawks nine minutes left in the fourth quarter 24 21 game what are we gonna get here bringing pressure got a little man pressure coming in through the a gap once again running back tries to get him but he's a little late there aj mccarran's able to get the ball off and he's gonna find marcel aitman no 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 darius shepherd on the over really good job there great job they ran that crossing concept once again we, I mean, this 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 has many names, but they're going to run this crossing concept right here. Uh, Darius Shepard's going over top. Uh, one of the tight ends is going underneath. I can't tell. That might be a receiver, actually. No, that's a tight end going underneath. And he gets open in the man coverage. They tried to bring pressure. The pressure almost got there. AJ McCarron, good job just backing up. Know that your guy is going to show up. Trust in your guy to win on the route. He does. And put the ball on him. Great, great execution there. Great execution there. Amazing execution really good job and they're gonna go for the tie game with about seven minutes left in the in the quarter here we go kick is up and it is good great conversion there to make it 24 to 24 with about six and a half minutes left to go in the game here we go five minutes left in the fourth quarter first and ten for the renegades they're gonna run it to their running back and he's gonna get about nine close to first down yardage here we go man coverage from the battle hawks 
Run this fade right outside to Tyler Vaughn's on third and six, man. I know this was a big play. I mean, not the Battle Hawks for the Renegades, man, or man coverage from the Battle Hawks. Tyler Vaughn's for the Renegades is running this fade route. He's gonna win. Luis Perez puts the ball up. Really good play from this DB. I know Tyler Vaughn's was looked like he was a little disappointed after this. Any receiver would be disappointed, but this is a great play from this defensive back. I mean, Tyler Vaughn's won. Obviously, we'd love for him to come down with this ball, but this defensive back. I mean, man, what a play! What a play! I mean. Yeah, because because that is a great throw from Luis Perez. Great throw. Just a better pass breakup. Just a better pass breakup. I mean, you can't do much about that. You got you got. I mean, you did everything you could. Really, that's just that's just that's just good football right there. Great football right there. I know you're bummed, man, but that was that was a great play from the defensive back. So Arlington's gonna go for the three for the field goal, and they are gonna miss, man miss on fourth and six with about two minutes left to go in the game they could have made it 27 to 24 and unfortunately they missed the field goal maintaining the 24 24 tie game i don't even know i mean i don't even I, I couldn't even tell you can't really tell from this angle but it looks like if he would have even if it would have been online it would have been close like i don't know if it would have gotten there but you know it doesn't matter because it was far right and the battle hawks are going to get the ball back with about a minute 43 left first and 10 and this is the this is really the run that like sealed this game durant up the middle looks like they're running gap scheme up here and it's blocked up beautifully got that guard pulling around kicking out this end got the I mean, there's not really any backers in here, but, you know, Hakeem Butler's getting a good block up here on this on this defensive back. I mean, everybody's getting blocks. This is really good execution when the game is on the line, and Durant's going to get down inside. I think he got inside, like, the 25-yard line, but he got really deep inside there. Pause. And the Battlehawks ended up getting the field goal with two minutes to go in the game to win it 27-24 to after being disappointed last week on a 64-yarder record-breaking field goal in Detroit against the Michigan Panthers the Battle Hawks come out with a three-point win they also covered on the over and they did not cover the spread but they hit the over making it 27 to 24 St. Louis to get their first win of the season Arlington is going to go to 0-2 and, and they're going to go back to the drawing board to see what they need to do to come out with a win in week three but it was a great game nonetheless um, you guys let me know in the comments what you thought about this game I thought it was really good back and forth love to see a lot of offense love to see obviously I love to see receivers ball out so it was really good to see Marcel Aitman have a great game um, hit the like hit the subscribe button thank you guys for tapping in and I will catch you guys next time